friends it's Nancy Bastien and guess what I've discovered on my new die the soda cans are not big enough to cover the the whole die I need those great big um, jumbo drinks whatever they are those monster drinks we don't drink those so I'll probably have to go buy a couple of those and dump them down the drain because they've got too much caffeine in them for me and Wes. We'll have heart palpitations. But they don't, it doesn't work on here. But never fear. I have something that will work. After I cut out all my cans, don't worry, I will use them. I'm going to put them aside. And hang on a minute, I'll be right back. A few years ago, well, it hasn't been a few years ago, it was last summer, I was going to do some mail art like uh, my Serenity Crafts did. And I ordered some stuff to do it. And I've never figured out how to do it correctly. And all mine turned out... Um, not so hot. So I have all this metal that I ordered and I have it in these tubes and this is pewter and this is copper and I have a whole nother roll of copper. So guess what we're going to do? We are going to cut out this snowflake in some copper and in some pewter and also in our clear plastic. I'm going to cut some out because um, let me show you what I did yesterday. I have the uh, movers and shapers small um, snowflake die and I cut these little snowflakes out. I wanted to show you. I have them in I have all my Christmas embellishments in this little jar and anyway um, I cut it out of the clear plastic and I embossed it so they and then I alcohol inked them these are cut out of pop cans of course you can tell that um, these ones Okay, that doesn't belong here. And this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, were cut out of aluminum. I had a roll of aluminum okay and I alcohol ink them see how cool they are I don't have autofocus on so so I got those let me pull you in a little closer so you can see and I'll pull back when I'm going to use the so these were all done with um, aluminum okay these were done with copper and I alcohol inked them and look how gorgeous they are. Now these I'm going to use on embellishments that I'm going to, on um, stuff I'm going to make and we're going to embellish it together. So I'm collecting all my little Christmas embellishments in this little jar. 
and pull any out. In this little jar, so I'm, and these were done with the clear plastic and they were embossed with an embossing folder. And that's what I want to do today. I want to do this bigger one. And because I cut out, sat here and cut out all my cans that I wanted to use, but they're not big enough for this die. It's a bigger die than the other one. Belle, what are you into? I got Belle down here with me and she's exploring. Anyway, Belle, what are you into? Come here. Belle. Okay, I see you. Sorry about that. So let's get started on using um, some pewter. Let's do a one in pewter. Now this stuff is really easy to cut. It's really flexible. Oh, there went my tool. That isn't for you to chew, Belle. They send you an embossing tool in each one of these um, tubes. And this has got um, tape on it to keep it closed. That's some heavy duty tape. And so I'm going to put my tool back in there. I'm going to cut a piece of this off. It's pretty thick. And make sure that it's going to fit on my, my die. I'm just going to set my die up here and score around it, and then I'll cut it. like so I don't want to make too many out of this this is a little expensive more so than what a pop can is My husband went to get e-oil for his e-cigarette, and uh, I wish you could give that up. And so I'm just going to, maybe, roll this back up. struggling. Oh, this gives you a pattern that you can use. And I'm just going to stick it back in here, this tube. And I'm going to do the same with the copper. You know what, I'm going to use my other tube, my other tube, I don't have to open this and fool around with it. Be right back. Talk to amongst yourselves, guys. Talk to amongst yourselves. Okay. See this big old roll of copper? There's quite a bit on that roll. It kind of got smushed in the... 
on the end in the packing of it, which I wasn't too happy. And it's the same, about the same thickness as the other ones. I want to make sure I get it big enough. For the die. Yeah, I was going to make some embossing things and hang them up on my wall and Serenity Krauss told me I could use any of her patterns that she had done but I just could not figure it out it just wasn't my cup of tea so I bought all this stuff and I thought well I have it. I might as well use it on something, right? So I'm going to die cut it and emboss it. So let's make our first snowflake. And I'm telling you, it just came out really, really pretty. So we'll see what it comes out here. I'm going to put the real shiny side down. And here we go. Hopefully it cut out. I think I'm going to have to coax it. I should have rolled it back through again. I mean, this stuff bends really easy. I'll coax it out of there. Let me do another one. I'm going to, on this other piece, I'm going to roll it through twice. Or three times. Or maybe four. I'm going to kind of mold it down to the mold, to the die. And here we go. Oh yeah, that one cut out. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to save this because there's pieces on there that I can use for smaller stuff. I'm going to put this down and coax this other one out of the copper and hopefully it'll pop out. Okay, I'm going to pause you guys while I do this. It didn't work. It it didn't 
Uh, so I'm recutting it again. And uh, cut me another piece of copper. I'm going to lay it on there like that. So that's how it wants to go on there. And we're going to recut it again. And I'm going to go through it a couple of times like I did the other one. And hopefully it worked this time. I think the copper's a little more stubborn. Oh my goodness. I put this down and see if I can work it out again. If not, I'm going to give up on the copper one. I'm not going to fool with it. Because I want to go on to the, uh, the plastic one. I even tried cutting it out with my exacto knife and just wouldn't, just wouldn't do it. I'm going to try and do it this way. There we go. I said I'm going to save these because I can get little things out of the corners. Yes, I can. So now I want to emboss it. But first, before I get the embossing stuff, can I emboss them? I want to do the uh, plastic. Okay. So, I have my plastic out, and I'm going to peel it off. I probably want to do a, a few plastic ones, just because they come out really cool. And guess what I did, guys? I put all my uh, alcohol inks away. I didn't know if I was going to make a video today or not. Uh, yay me, huh? I'm just going to set that on there to see how many I can get off of this sheet. Probably should cut it on the... If I can get two of them off of here. Yep, I can. I can. I can get two of them. So, let's see. Of course, I don't cut straight. So I'll get four out of the plastic. And I'll put this away to use another time for something else. Okay, let's cut these plastic ones out. And 
I got all this metal down into my die. It's okay. It's all right. It'll work. Now these are a little stubborn, these plastic ones, so I have to go over them a couple of three times. Make sure I get it on there correctly. Takes muscles. Which I don't have very many left. I try to keep my muscle strength up. But arthritis and fibro take a toll on it, especially fibro. It really takes a toll on your muscles. Now let's see if I can get these out. I'm going to work on that. I'm going to cut the other ones out. And then I'll work on popping them out. That one I have to be real careful on getting it on there. Because it's a little smaller than that first piece. Okay, come on. Come on, machine. Work with me. Gosh. Two more guys, just two more. I'm going to pause you and I'll be back when I get them all cut out. Hello, we are back. And I got them all punched out. Now we are going to emboss them. So I got all the plastic ones punched out. They just are a little difficult. They were all cut. They just needed to be manhandled a little bit. But I got them out. It didn't, they didn't tear or anything when I was manhandling them. So let's do the embossing. So we are going to do the one that came with it, the, um, the snowflake one that came with it, and I'm going to just put that in there, like so, you can't see it on there. Close it up, plate down, and push it through, and we'll see what happens. Oh my gosh. Wait till you see this, guys. Wait till you see how this is going to turn out when we put alcohol inks on them. Oh, I can hardly wait. Okay, I'm going to do the next one. Get it on here correctly. Okay, work with me.
is beautiful. It just comes out gorgeous. I don't know if you can see. You'll be able to see when we do the... Uh, the other ones. When we do the uh, metal ones. If you can see it or not. Let me see if I put a piece of white paper under it. You can see it better. Oh, really? One more of the plastic ones and then we'll go to the metal ones. Gorgeous. Okay, we're going to the metal one now. sure I have this metal on the right side. Yeah, turn it over. This is the copper one. Gorgeousness. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Can you imagine having that hanging on your tree? All right, let's do the pewter one. I noticed after it got embossed, it got really hard. Like it won't, it's not as bendable as it is in this state. I think I'm going to do more of these metal ones because they just turned out gorgeous. beautiful. Just gorgeous. All right, let's get to painting them. This stuff put away. I got my pads and let's do this one first can y'all see let me bring you in closer
Can you all see that, how beautiful that is? Ah, I just love it. So, let's see, what should we put on it? I have cranberry. I got cranberry out. That's watermelon. I got cranberry. Let's put some cranberry on this. Oh, beautiful. I should put a piece of paper under it. I always forget my paper. I guess if you wanted to make these more stable, you could glue them to a piece of cardstock on the back. But I wouldn't want to do that because I would want them to twirl around and see front and back. See, the front would be red would be the cranberry and then the back would be the regular and it would just be gorgeous it would just be gorgeous hanging I love it except for I want a little bit of butterscotch Just a titch. I don't know if that makes a difference or not. I'm just rubbing it on there now. How gorgeous. That is beautiful. Really beautiful. And you can punch a little hole or you can do a little hole with an, um, a nail. Or if you have a little hole punch, which I do, hang on, I'll go get it. Well, I thought I had it. I had it out using it. Um, oh, gosh. I've set it somewhere. But it's just a little teeny tiny punch, just a teeny hole. and Or you can just use a nail and go through it and string your... Um, you can string some hemp wire through it. You can string a ribbon through it. Not a real thick ribbon, but just a teeny one. I'll find that punch here in a minute, maybe. I'm going to set that aside and we're going to do the copper one. Now the copper one really turns out pretty. And I want to do it in the um, stream. I really like this stream color. 
when you put it on copper, it makes it look like it's tarnished a little bit. Just kind of rubbing it on. It's getting caught on some of these little places on here. And look how beautiful that is on that copper back side, the front side, the back side. So if you had something where it was spinning around, oh, how gorgeous that would be. Okay, I'm going to set these aside and then we're going to do the plastic ones. And I just know these are going to turn out just beautiful. And with this stream, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, blue with it. And I think we're supposed to put the colors back on the same ones. And I got them mixed up. Nope, that just, oh my goodness, I don't know. I got them mixed up, I think. <coughs> Bell! <coughs> Bell, don't bark, baby. My husband just came home. Hang on a minute. I gotta shut her up. She'll bark the whole time. Well, got her outside, but she's barking outside now. Well, look how beautiful that is. But now I wanna put a little bit of um plum. Gonna get a new felt. I don't know if you're supposed to get new ones every time. I don't know. Because I haven't ever done alcohol inks like this before. I want to put a little plum in there. Ooh, ooh. Just here and there. Get my piece of paper. Look at that. Can you imagine that on your tree? How beautiful that is. I love them. And like I said, you could heat it up with your heat gun and mold it. If you wanted to. Or you don't have to. You can just get it to lay flat. See how pretty.
gorgeous, huh? One of the things I didn't pull out is purple. Of course, I need to go get the purple. I want purple on some of these. I'll get my trusty little box out, pull out my purples, and I'll get out my alcohol. And that's not purple. That's purple twilight. That's the one I want. I'm going to try some of these greens. This is citrus. I'm going to try that one. So, let's do a, a citrus and yellow. Well, not yellow, but butterscotch. Bit of butterscotch. I have to make sure I'm on the embossed side. May that come out. Pretty. Maybe a little more green. Well, citrus is that is that color green. Use my white paper. How dumb. See how pretty that is? Oh, I just love it. Just love it. Now my paper's ruined. I'll get one of these. Let's do a purple. Now, I have not tried any other kind of paints on these. I don't know if your um, uh, satin paints that are all purpose will work on these. I'm sure they would. Um, I might give that a try. But I would want it to be really translucent on this. And I don't think it would be translucent on this plastic. Okay, now I'm going to sneak a little bit of blue in here. like that. Oh yes, that turned out really pretty. See how pretty? 
and dry it loose a little bit. How gorgeous. Can't see on my hand. Look how pretty. Alright, so we've got a green one and a blue one and a purple one. And what should we make the last one? How about watermelon? That's pretty red though. We could make it eggplant, try eggplant. And this one has little black specks from the dye which is fine. It'll come off. I wish I had silver and gold where the sunlight lies. It's a song. That's pretty, but I think I want to add a little bit of this citron, just a titch. I hope I don't make mud on it. Just a titch, just a titch, and I use my white paper again. There we go. That's pretty. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I showed you something new. And I'm gonna lay them out and take some photos. So there'll be uh, stills at the end of the of the video, so I hope you stay long enough and watch it. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Guess what? I found my punch. So, it's just, I don't know if you can see, it's just real little. So, I'm going to go ahead and punch a hole. I'm going to find a good, looks like this would be the best one. Punch a little hole through. Oh, come off. Just like that. See, I punched a little hole. Let me turn autofocus on. You see the little hole? There you go. I punched just a little bitty hole in it so that I can hang it either in my window or in my whatever. I'm going to push one in this one.
you can't see, can you? Because I'm out of frame. Like always. So I'm just going to go in there. Just like that. Try to get it in the center. Punch it. Okay. This is a little harder metal than that pewter. That pewter is really soft. But this really hardened up after it got embossed. So there's the little hole. So now that I can put some fishing wire or uh, something real small through that, I'm going to do my plastic ones the same way. Make sure I try to find the center. Okay, come off. It wants to stick on there. Maybe doing it with a a uh, nail would be easier. My crocodile would be too big of a hole. Okay, I got it. Just worked it a little bit. It's not quite in the center. I don't know if you can even see it. But anyway, it's right there. Alright guys, thanks for watching. And uh, catch you on the next video. Bye bye.